It's Saturday night at Manchester's busiest fire station. Engine 11, police and an ambulance racing toward Manchester Street. 24 year old female conscious breathing, not alert. Chief, be advised I have one also coming in for Hind Street. The manpower for a single overdose call is immense. Locating the victims in a winding rooming house, a challenge. Narcan can take patients from death to walking on their own into the ambulance. Down in the hallway on the third floor. Oh, Firefighters are unarmed and often told to stage and wait for police backup. I opened the car and put my purse into the back seat and at that point I heard somebody grunt. Chantel is terrified, a strange man unconscious in her car. It seemed as though he was slumped over so I had my friend call 911. Chief Martineau says police had no available crews for this suspected overdose call. And then, Got a gun? Yeah. the only person with a weapon at this point is the alleged drunk man. The fire chief says the gun was loaded and cocked with the safety on. As you saw tonight, the, you know, there were PD uh, all over the city you know, doing their thing as well. The man was able to produce his license to carry and was released. Somebody was definitely on my side tonight. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm definitely freaked out. Um, I'm glad I asked my friend to walk with me. Engine 11 alone will break 3,000 runs this year. All told, Central Fire will log more than 8,000 runs in 2016. And since May, crews here have responded to more than 800 safe station walk-ins. Dennis is homeless. He crawled to the fire station. His feet are in agony. AMR paramedics arrive in minutes. The coordination is seamless and speedy. The manpower, significant. Thank you. We've added seven to 800 runs with the safe station intake. So the burden on, especially here, 90% of those safe station uh, calls are here at headquarters. The 24 hour shift comes in waves. This night allowed for a firehouse dinner. Chicken pot pie from scratch. An alcohol overdose deploys a team of firefighters who approach with firm kindness. She was actually at a, a recovery center here. She's an inpatient here, so she kind of fell off the wagon. They wear one uniform. Yep, you're welcome. But many hats, ready to pivot from a rollover crash to an overdose to a fire. The opioid crisis has increased the demands on this department of 223 firefighters. The guys at work here doing this, uh, do this because they love what they're doing. In Manchester, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.